<laughs> Hello, my name's Tom and this is Safe House. Uh, this week I am joined, as usual, by my good friend and co-host James Pickard. Hello. And by our PR and lady friend person, Kelsey Champion. <laughs> That's you. <laughs> Hello. I probably should work on that. No, what? Okay. Having a having a title. Just generally what introducing to say. people. Yeah. I have no idea what I'm doing. I make it up. Um, so, main things this week. Um, Martin Freeman has joined the cast of Captain America Three. That's good, isn't it? Yeah, a lot of speculation over who he's going to be. Yes. Um, I kind of hope they really mix it up and they throw a Hobbit in the mix. And they just put him as, he's just playing Bilbo. Bilbo. Or he's just, just Tim from The Office. Yeah, he's just Tim, <laughs> Tim from The Office and he's just in, in there as a background. He's like an office they blow up in the building and he's just there. <laughs> to be fair, that would be brilliant. Yeah, I mean, I I had an idea, right, and it's it's a bit of a, uh, bit of a long shot and it does feel a bit like, mm, but Uncle Ben... Because they're introducing Spider-Man in Cap 3, and I thought maybe in flashback sequence of how Spider-Man came to be, Uncle Ben perhaps, but then I'm thinking that's that's a pretty small part for Martin Freeman. Yeah, mm-hmm. and so, as soon as you said it, I instantly just thought of the rice. And, and maybe, yes, maybe <laughs> in, in the film they'll just <laughs> use a bag of rice. Maybe a macho man Randy Savage kills a bag of rice. Yes. And... And I, did, I, I love. I'm, I'm not I, getting this reference at all. Macho Man Randy Savage was the guy who played Bonesaw McGraw oh. in the first, the <laughs> first Tobey Maguire Spider Man. That was a shit film. Um, it was a film. It was a film. <laughs> it was and, certainly a film. And it was Macho Man Randy Savage. So he's <laughs> going to come out and kill a bag of rice, and then the kid from Ender's Game is going to go, "Well, I'll be Spider Man now." So what, what do we now reckon? There's a plot. Yeah. yeah. I mean, part of me would love them to. Maybe he's Spider Man. Yeah, they're going to cut Oh, that would be incredible. As, yeah, they're like, well, we were thinking about doing a really young Peter Parker, but what if we did an old Peter Parker? <laughs> I'd love it if they cast him as um, Doctor Strange's butler, because Doctor Strange is going to be Benedict Cumberbatch, and it's, you just can't, <laughs> can't separate them now. No, that would be brilliant. Are, I hope they keep him British. I don't know, he was very good as American in Fargo. In series? Mm. No. No. No, he wasn't. No, not that he wasn't, <laughs> I but no, I, no, he needed no. no. He was he was very good in Fargo with his American accent. He's a little Minnesota. Sure. I haven't seen it. It's bloody so good. good. And we know the villain is gonna be Daniel Brawl playing Baron Zemo, uh, who is a Captain America villain, who is a Nazi man. Daniel Brawl. Yeah, Daniel Brawl from he's... Glorious Bastards. Yes. Yes. Oh, that down. Oh, picture. Yeah, <laughs> here's a picture of Daniel Brawl. Um, so Daniel Brawl will be playing uh, Baron Helmut Zemo. Baron Helmut. <laughs> Baron Helmut. <laughs> He'll be playing Baron Helmut Zemo in um, in Cap Three, which is hype because you know. Is he a Nazi from the past? He's a Nazi future. from the past, pretty much. Oh. Uh, I don't know if he's specifically from the past, but he's a Nazi. They in, might because that was there was the guy in Marvel Agents of Shield, yeah, who was also a Nazi from the past. Who oh. they they kept alive. Oh, uh, was a past C, yes. It was a Joss Whedon regular. I can't remember. Any, okay, he was in Dollhouse. Alan Tudyk. No, it was the the handler from Dollhouse. Oh right, yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, who got set up in the loft? Yeah. Um, but yeah, he was super bad Nazi guy who they reintroduced as a modern Nazi guy. That's cool. So he, so he might have something it. to do with it because it all ties in. Mm. Um, also, they've... I, I, I can't remember if we... I don't think we've spoken about it on here before. Um, they've cast Ryan Philippe in one of the Marvel Netflix series mm. and seeing as Daredevil's already on the air, uh, he's not a woman nor a black man, mm-hmm. one would assume he's being cast as Iron Fist uh, which is the fourth of the four series coming out of Netflix for Marvel. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm intrigued to see who Martin Freeman's going to turn up as because it's going to have everyone. It's going to have the whole thing. They've got the whole Avengers team, um, which, I mean, I'm not going to go into the spoilers for Age of Ultron because it's still early days, but the Avengers team is a bit of a mix-up, so he's got the whole Avengers team there. Um, we're getting Spider-Man, we're getting Black Panther, which is going to be hype because Black Panther is really cool. Um, he's just African Batman, basically, <laughs> which is great. Ant Man's going to be in it. Paul is that Rudd. Paul Rudd. Paul yeah. Rudd. Yeah. Amazing. Paul Rudd, Paul Rudd is going to be in Captain America three um, as Ant Man and in Ant Man as Ant Man as, um, as the second of the Ant Mans. The Ant Men. 
um, <laughs> because obviously it was originally Hank Pym, who was Michael Douglas. Mm. Also in news um, and vaguely superhero themed, supervillain themed, mm. Suicide Squad. A uh, picture came out for the Suicide Squad lineup. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Um, walk past them in a dark alley. No, no. Um, well, maybe Harley. Oh, oh Harley. <laughs> but oh, it, Robbie. it is one of those things, like the picture came out. And everyone basically just crops out everyone that isn't Margot Robbie and Will Smith because we just want to know what um, Harley and Deadshot look like. Mm. Um, both pretty good. I'm, I'm feeling. I mean, Harley is a pretty, pretty Harley casual. That's yeah, like a kind of punk rock casual, the... casual Friday Harley. Yeah, schoolgirl stuff. Yeah, yeah, you know, it works. It works. I jean mean, she would jean shorts, jean shorts, <laughs> but she wouldn't be able to um, be too, like you know, gimp suit esque because. <laughs> be a bit bit heavy mm. also there's been uh, some set videos uh, surfacing while they're filming a couple of scenes and um, she's she, there's, there's a bit where you hear her like shout to the rest of the gang like come on or keep up or something and you kind of hear the intonation in the voice and it's very early in Sorkin like it's very faithful to mm. the Harley voice so yeah and then Deadshot uh, there was a couple of photos of him like mooching about in like normal people clothes, and then boom, there he is in his in his sort of swap red and black just swap gear. A guy really good with a gun. He's a guy who's really good with guns. He's in City, isn't he? Uh, City. Yes. Is he the one you have to track down? He's for? in Arkham City and Origins. Uh, in yeah, <laughs> in City you don't like fight him. Yeah. No. In in Origins, you actually have a proper boss fight. He is an actual boss. He's one of the assassins sent to kill Batman. Um, unfortunately, he also killed my interest for that game because <laughs> it was bad. It was a bad game. Which one? I zoned out. Oh, um, Arkham Origins. Other things. Uh, fans of British sci-fi comedy television program Red Dwarf. <laughs> <laughs> was that that was Big Bang Theory <laughs> oh right oh you see yeah <laughs> fucking there's, there's an episode of Big Bang Theory where Sheldon's like I have the DVD of British sci-fi television comedy Red Dwarf and then there's canned laughter and he's like it's not a that What's that? <laughs> the joke? I've got that box set as well that's not a joke I have them actually I think I've lost <clears throat> them oh no mm. I, I, I have two mm. Don't have two. There anymore. There's only have mine. I haven't stolen yours. I'm sorry. Um, Red Dwarf. <laughs> anyway. Red Dwarf has officially been announced uh, by Dave, the channel, not just the person we know. <laughs> um, Dave, the channel, has announced that Red Dwarf seasons 11 and 12 are coming in uh, 2016 and 2017, respectively. Craig Charles has left Coronation Street because he was on Corrie for ages, and. That was one of the problems they had with filming season 10 is his time restraints for the contract on Corey meant he only had like six weeks to film in so they had to really just bomb it and you know we nearly didn't even get season 10 so he's actually left Coronation Street to uh, hmm. to focus on Red Dwarf so that would be really cool. Um, I just... No. I just... No. No? I've not watched past six because I just think six is the six is still the best series. Like we will never get a better series than Red Dwarf than six because gosh dang it, what a series! Um, but I have consistently liked all Red Dwarfs other than nine, which was the movie, the mm. the shit back to earth one. I haven't watched any of them. That's the only one that they did without a studio audience, and it really shows because there's no audience laughing. Mm because it's really weird like they make a joke and then there's just silence but they pause like there's going to be laughter but there's not because they're used to performing in front of an audience mm. but um, season 10 is actually really good I might have to watch it I, I suggest season 10 it is really funny and I, I mean when I was a kid I always just wanted to grow up to be a hologram <laughs> I just wanted to be Rimmer so much I used to well <laughs> yeah of the group I suppose but yeah I used to uh, like whenever uh, I used to go to like um, comic conventions and sci-fi conventions with my dad. Uh, whenever there was dressing up to be done, you just paint a little H on your. Head. I had a little a little cardboard H, which I had like blue tack to my head. That's the cutest ever. It was pretty good. I had a great time. I was the most adorable nerd child. 
I think I learnt my sass from uh, Red Dwarf. Yeah, a lot of good sass yeah, in there. I got there. my sass. All the sassiness. But uh, yeah, so that's going to be hype. Um, Universal Parks and Resorts of the Florida and also Los Angeles fame. Um, although not in that order, I think ALA one's the main one. Um, have teamed up with Nintendo to make Nintendo themed Is that parks. Yeah, we're How getting Nintendo Mario Mario Kart. Kart. Real Life Mario oh Kart. Oh my god, that's amazing. You're going to have Real Mario Kart is going to be what, like Legend of Zelda? It's going to be like the Marvel Island in, in Florida, but with Nintendo. So you're going to have... There's going to be a Star Fox ride. I'm, oh my, stealing, oh, this. I'm stealing this from Ash, but there's going to yeah. be a Star Fox ride yeah. when you go through the whole ride, and then at the end, you do the barrel roll. Yeah! <laughs> this could be the best. Oh my god, Pokemon Petting Zoo. Oh my god. <laughs> Amazing. Daniel Ford would never leave. Daniel Ford would move in there. <laughs> um, and then, what? You could have uh, Animal Crossing. It's like a little... One of those like walk around village crooked house kind of things, mm. and then once you're in, you can never leave. <laughs> Tom Nook. Gets you Tom Nook. Okay, yeah, it's actually a horror ride. It's like <laughs> the saw, the saw maze at Thorpe Park, That's but with Tom Nook. So yeah, uh, one of the other little bits of snippets of news, just sort of before we head off, um, Assassin's Creed teaser for the what they're calling the final Assassin's Creed game. Really, I didn't realise. Well, yeah, there's there's rumours going round. They were like, oh, it's every story has to come to an end. Whether that's the story But of... not this one. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> probably. Is it just the story of Desmond? It's probably Desmond's story, <laughs> and then they're going to be like, but don't worry, we will make infinite Assassin's Creed games. Um, but yeah, so they released a teaser, which is literally you just see some bloke's hand, mm -hmm. and he's holding a cane, and he's got knuckle dusters, and he's in a suit, and it does the little shink. Um... Mm -hmm. Victorian London looks likely for a setting by the video from what they've yeah, found. Apparently it is. But it's gonna be subtitled Syndicate. Oh very nice. Very it nice. was subtitled Victory, but they said no it's actually Syndicate. Okay. Apparently Polygon got a lot of stuff, which I don't know if they were supposed to talk about, but they did. Oh good. So yeah, it sounds like Victorian London called Syndicate. More will be revealed next Tuesday. Yes, Tuesday comes out, so, so we'll probably talk about it next we'll week. <laughs> talk about it properly on next week's episode. So that'll be good. I'm looking forward to it. But yeah, that about covers it for uh, for the week's news. Yeah. Uh, we'll no doubt be back next week talking about Assassin's Creed and whatever else pops up in the meantime. Games. Probably comic book movies because mm -hmm. that seems to be there? like seventy percent of everything. We might have seen Mad Max Planet. We right? might well have seen Mad Max. I kind of want to see Mad Max, actually. You should. It I'm looks sure really good. I'm sure hyped about it. I'm usually hyped about Mad Max. It's really good. Yeah. It's got cars and post-apocalypse, and this particular one has no Mel Gibson in it. Which, I it's mean... Tom Hardy in it. It's got Tom Hardy and Mad Max. as a psycho. <laughs> yeah, it looks brilliant. So, yeah, that it's going to be good. good. So, um, so that's what you've got to look forward to next week. It'll be exciting. <laughs> So thanks very much for watching and uh, we'll see you then. Bye. Bye.